guys and welcome back to my channel it's april newly me here if you are new however if you're one of my subbies hey youtube bestie so today's video is going to be kind of fun kind of interesting if you watched my fall i think i named it fall this or that i will link a card above you know i am not a halloween girl i'm not except for scary movies i love scary movies but besides that, I don't like to decorate for Halloween, so to speak. I'm more so a fall girl. I love the fall colors. I like to decorate my home in fall themed items. However, I got a tip from a friend on these pumpkin carving kits. Now, again, I like pumpkins. I usually don't do the carving things. I don't like, you know, the goods part or whatever. However, thought I would try something new plus these kits supposedly come with everything it's a really good price I will leave the link of the, the Amazon link of where I got these and all the price and all the info but let's see what these kits are about I got this one first off the box the packaging is adorable these are the zombie bees I like the happy bee with the mask social distancing properly I like this one better but anyway I am going to first show you my pumpkins, my unconventional pumpkins, because y'all know I'm extra and I had to get something different. Then we're gonna go ahead and carve some pumpkins. I'm probably gonna suck at it, but I'm trying to get out of my comfort, my comfort box. So let's get started. So I first wanted to show y'all my pumpkins, smooth my gloves. I don't know if the kids have gloves, so I am not for the, the guts in the inside, y'all. I mean, I'm just not here for it. But um, I wanted to show y'all my pumpkins. I do not like orange. It's just not cute anywhere. It's not cute in food. It's not cute in drinks. I hate orange soda. Orange is just ugly, in my opinion. That's one of the main colors of fall. I use it as minimal as possible in my decor. I did not want a pumpkin that was orange. Plus, they look kind of ashy. And the only ones that were halfway decent had those little like goosebump things. Like, why would you get that? It looks like, you know, the pumpkin has herpes or something. I don't know why anyone would get that. Not knocking you if you want the herpes pumpkin. It's just not for me, sis. I just don't like it. I got this one. It's kind of an off-white creamy color, which I thought was really cute and unique. So I got this one. And since I got two kits, I got two pumpkins. And yes, y'all, this is my twist that I just did because I'm not twisting it out because I'm not leaving the house. Y'all my besties. Y'all can see me in my twist. I got the white one. And then I saw this one. And for y'all that know me in real life, green is my signature color. I love green. And I think this is a pretty kind of like a mint, dark mint green pumpkin. So yeah, we're going to try those. They are dirty. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then kind of wipe off my pumpkins and then we'll get started. So like I said, y'all just wanted to wash these off. These have been sitting outside of my local Ralph. So I just got a wet paper towel and just damped it a little bit and went ahead and rubbed all over the pumpkins before I got started. And I just realized I told you guys I got two kits. I did not. I got one kit and I got a mask kit, um, which was really cute. The box was adorable. It came with sanitize, hand sanitizer and a little pouch with a sticker on it, as well as a good supply of masks, which we all need. Uh, so literally the kit had everything those are the instructions which I was staring at the whole time um, It also came with two little faux pumpkins as well as everything you would need to carve and scoop out the guts It really really had everything y'all besides the pumpkin itself. It's a really good kit Now I thought the LSD lights were genius. Like literally I didn't think about it until after the fact like dang how am I going to light this up but it was all inclusive. Here I'm showing you the stencils of uh, what you can 
draw on the pumpkin to carve it out obviously i pick the most simplest one because your girl is not about that carving life but i think it's great that it came with a lot of different options for you the instructions the first thing you want to do is draw the line as far as you cutting off the top of the pumpkin which i thought was very smart because I wouldn't have thought to do that and I know if I would have tried to freehand it it would have been crazy looking so yeah I'm studying these daggone um, instructions I was so scared to even start it um, I just did the whole stabbing effect a couple of times before I got my groove and did the sawing which was easier but I suggest poking kind of make it like a dotted line and then going back and doing the saw which you'll see me doing later in the video Even though I did wash it, it was still dirty. I was just showing you guys my fingers, but it's a little hard to see with me spatting up the video. But even when I did the stabbing effect and went over it again um, with the saw effect, I still could not get the dag on top off, and that's because I got the wrong type of pumpkin. These pumpkins that I got are kind of thick like a melon, so once again, me being extra has gotten me into trouble. As you can see, the inside of my pumpkin is super thick. I'm not sure if normal punk or regular pumpkins are like that. I don't think they are. I think I got the wrong type of pumpkin, but I thugged it out. This was the grossest part for me. Seeing the little seeds and all that yucky stuff, it just makes my skin crawl. I was really trying to get this over with as soon as possible. So this was kind of difficult for me, not because of the kit, mostly because I got a pumpkin that was stubby and short. Had I got the normal size pumpkin, they kind of are taller, like an oval shape. So it was kind of hard for me to stencil because um, it wasn't a really big space I had to work with, but I made it work. drawing on are basically stenciling on what I wanted to carve I basically did the whole stabbing effect again and then went in there and did the saw effect um, it was a little bit more difficult for me again because the pumpkin I got wasn't the right type of pumpkin and if you can see on the bottom y'all I have literally did it upside down I did not notice it until <laughs> I start filming but whatever okay it was struggle from beginning to end only natural should be done upside freaking down but yeah it looks horrible <laughs> but I will say it is not the kit it is your girl I am horrible at arts and crafts I'm sorry they're doing some construction work across uh, the courtyard but yeah I love how it came with literally everything I needed I just personally like to wear gloves because I'm prissy but it came with this scooper that did a really good job. And it came with, it came with three different knives. The little ones, um, which I think I broke, but the little one was good for like little itty bitty, you know, if you wanted to get fancy, this would be a good knife. I mainly stuck with the middle knife. I really think because I was being extra and I got the wrong type of pumpkin because I feel like with the 
oval or shape um orange ones you scoop out a lot more if you notice my pumpkin had a lot it was really thick inside as far as the guts of it and it wasn't loose enough to um to scoop out chow so we'll see how that goes and did y'all see i cut it <sighs> i had it upside down y'all i'm telling you i'm not good at this but it's okay my struggle pumpkin and me are gonna be fine i'm stressed out the cat looks stressed out that was the easiest uh stencil as far as i could tell the ghost look kind of uh like it was gonna be an issue the trick-or-treat i know for a fact i was not gonna do and i'm not with the whole the, the skeleton stuff i'm not with that and i'm gonna wait till it gets dark and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks all lit up hopefully it'll take away from the fact that it looks horrible but nonetheless the kit itself was really good um the instructions are very they're short but to the point they detailed i was looking down at them the whole time again you literally get everything you need including these lsd lights because i was kind of worried like how am i going to light it but boom also i misquoted i did not get two kits that the kit obviously came in the black box but this which i dubbed sanitizer b um basically it's mass which we need these child and a little hand sanitizer which is like still in california hard to come by so i think the the thinking behind this is you know if you have a lot of people and y'all want to do it as an activity everybody wear their mask and sanitize and if you look it says stand six feet away so i think that's really really cute like if you want to do this with a group of your friends with their kids and stuff like that i'm gonna tell people i have a kid when they see my pumpkin maybe they'll think the kid did it whoo y'all but um the kit itself came with everything. I think it's very reasonably priced. And this is something actually that's not ticky tacky. Like I'll wash these and put them away for next year, that type of thing. So it's cost, you know, effective to me. And it's really good that they give you the stencil to draw out this little tool, um, really easy to use. You just put the paper on the pumpkin and you draw it out again. I think I should have got like an oval shaped pumpkin cause it would have been taller and probably a lot easier, but I'm extra. I'm used to having to improv improvise due to my extraness. It's fine. Okay. Tony's going to make fun of it. I'm sure. But um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up, like I said, clean off my uh, knives and everything like that and put those away. And then I will be back to show you guys how it looks tonight, all lit up and cute. Don't make fun of my struggle cat, okay? Don't make fun of it is y'all i think it came out kind of cute tony actually knew what it was as soon as she walked in which i was ecstatic about but if you like content like this go ahead and subscribe until next time guys bye